It's rare that you see all of the severe weather ingredients where we could see multiple long track tornadoes. The severe weather parameters were literally off the charts. April 27th certainly is a day that none of us will ever forget. The first thing I remember about that day was not the major event, but the fact that uh, we had our early storm uh, very early in the morning, did quite a bit of damage there in East Tuscaloosa County. That morning event, it overperformed, and we ended up with numerous tornadoes during the morning. Mickey and I, we covered tornadoes as we saw Hansville impacted, places like Coker. You can still today along 459 see some of the damage from the morning tornadoes out around Cahaba Heights. And a lot of folks thought, well, that's it. It also did damage uh, around the university. As a matter of fact, uh, the electricity was off at the university and April 27th, the students were getting ready for finals and they're asking me, are we expecting more bad weather? Yeah, we we'll have another storm this afternoon. Of course, that was going to be the big storm. What happened is it was a perfect recipe for a weather alert nightmare because a lot of folks were cleaning up from the morning storms and not aware of what was coming that afternoon. These uh, storms were incredible as they developed moving in out of Mississippi. All that instability, the atmosphere was just primed in for a major severe weather event, and then it was just one supercell after the other. Uh, when I saw the uh, tornadoes developing in front of our own eyes on tower cams that we had set up across the area, that first one that really started showing up in Coleman County, we saw that, then Tuscaloosa County, then eventually it moved across Jefferson County. It was almost not believable. After the noon show, I went over to Tuscaloosa County EMA. I was looking directly at the storm out the back door of the EMA. I called the booth and I said, you need to put me on the air, let me talk to Wes, because this storm has turned and it is headed directly toward downtown Tuscaloosa. I never will forget Fred's voice and Dennis's voice uh, when that tornado was moving through Tuscaloosa and our operations manager, Lance Croft, I said, Lance, I said, if we could turn the camera in Tuscaloosa in, in this uh, particular direction, and then there it was. We saw the tornado in Tuscaloosa. Uh, I thought, this can't be real. It looked like a, a Hollywood creation. It looked like uh, some kind of special effect. As a meteorologist, when you sit there and you see something like that moving through your hometown, the emotions were overwhelming. I saw the tornado and knew there would be significant loss of life because when you see a storm that big, you get to a point that no matter what you do, there are cases where these storms are just not survivable unless you are underground. Seconds later, uh, the storm was hit. Here were three of us got under a uh, stack of stairs or under a staircase uh, that looked as if it would provide some shelter and uh, the storm was just tremendous in its impact. I've said this uh, over and over, people who say it sounds like a freight train or it sounds like a jet engine, honestly, it sounded like nothing I've ever heard on earth, uh, nor hope to hear again. The other overriding thing I remember is the sand and the grit and the dirt. And I remember for a couple of weeks, I still had sand underneath my eyelids and remember the pressure changes, the ears popping, never been that close. Um, to a storm and quite honestly, uh, it did cross my mind, this is it. I really thought that uh, we were not going to survive, but uh, we did. Tuscaloosa firefighters came and literally had to dig us out of that building. Scariest weather day I've ever seen in my life. Uh, we had uh, tornadoes that were popping up all over the place. Ultimately, we ended up with 62 tornadoes on that day. Some of these tornadoes, they tracked across the entire state. The kind of storms that uh, level towns, like we saw in Hackleburg, the destruction in Tuscaloosa, in uh, Jefferson County, West Jefferson County, on into St. Clair County. A lot of memories, uh, and certainly not all of them pleasant. Uh, about the uh, death and destruction that happened on that day. 50 years from now, 30 years from now, no matter what you were doing on that day, you are going to remember. We treat every uh, tornado with respect, certainly, and, and we study events and we look back at events like April 27th so we can do a, uh, the best job possible in giving you the first alert.